atrial hypertrophy the atrial hypertrophy can be diagnosed from the contour of the p waves seen best in lead 2 the p wave represents depolarization of both right and left atria the sa node starts the depolarization in right atrium so the initial part is contributed by the right atrium and the later part of the p wave shaded in the diagram is contributed by the left atrium in left atrial hypertrophy the second component is delayed and prominent so we get a wide and notched p wave which is wider than two and a half small squares since this is common in mitral wall diseases it is termed as p mitrale note the p mitrale notched and three and a half small squares wide width more than two and a half squares is the main criterion this is another p mitrale not notched but three small squares wide in right atrial hypertrophy the initial component is prominent so the p wave is tall and peaked in lead 2 which is taller than two and a half small squares since this is common with pulmonary hypertension it is termed as p pulmonale this is a very prominent p pulmonale five small squares tall it suggests right atrial hypertrophy in this ECG, the lead 2 shows tall and peaked P wave, which is 3 small squares tall. This is P pulmonale, suggesting right atrial hypertrophy. This ECG shows tall and peaked P waves in 2, 3 and AVF, typical P pulmonale. This is P mitrale, no notch, but 2.5 small squares wide, suggesting left atrial hypertrophy. If both the atria are hypertrophied, the P wave in lead 2 will be taller than 2.5 small squares and broader than 2.5 small squares. This is an ECG of biatrial hypertrophy.